Ever wondered how successful people achieve such results in their chosen field? Possibly the most important factor is their habits, routines, or as Tony Robbins puts it, rituals. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. Rituals are fundamental to achieving in life. They form the foundations from which all the rest comes from and ensure we stay disciplined in our craft. Some, such as Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, associate rituals with focus, as their routine is what keeps their attention to where they need it to be, as entrepreneurs and investors. Tony Robbins has covered this subject in great detail and we'll be learning from him precisely how our rituals affect our lives. In this video, we'll learn the benefits of setting up positive rituals, how to set up our rituals and then look at a few case studies of people who have set up rituals in their own lives. So let's first understand the benefits of rituals. First and foremost, it's important to understand our daily rituals are our habits and therefore offer the framework of how we live our lives. Now you can either set up positive rituals or negative ones. Positive rituals will be those that help you progress towards a specific goal. Doing this is fundamental to achieving results, because as you set up positive rituals, you will actively work towards progressing towards your goal. And to quote Tony Robbins on this, progress equals happiness. Life isn't about standing still and enjoying rewards, but it's about progress, whether in your career, in your relationship, in your health, or in your spirituality. If you make progress and work towards something, you will feel satisfaction and fulfillment in a way that money, cars, or a nice house simply can't give. Now it's also important to identify and understand that just as you have positive rituals, you can equally set up negative rituals, which work against you. For example, you know you want to work towards something and intend to wake up early to do it. However, push comes to shove and when it's time to take action, you hit snooze. The fact of the matter is that as a one-off instance, this might not be too problematic. But for many of us, the first day of hitting snooze usually results in the next day and the day after hitting snooze. Suddenly, it becomes habit and guess what? You've just set yourself up a negative ritual. Now, to get back to understanding the value of positive rituals, they give us focus. When Bill Gates and Warren Buffett were younger, they were with Bill Gates' father, who asked them to each identify one word that they attribute to their success most to. Without knowing each other's answer, they gave back their answer and it's by no coincidence that the two most successful entrepreneurs of all time both gave the same answer, focus. And this is where rituals come into play, as forming positive rituals gives your life focus. Doing certain things daily is fundamental to achieving results in life as it makes sure that your attention is focused in certain direction in which you are working towards. Focus also helps because it helps activate the part of our brain which focuses on certain sensory responses or our awareness towards a specific direction, the reticular activating system. Essentially, this is where we focus on what's important to us. Let's try a quick exercise that Tony Robbins does to show this. I want you to spend about 10 seconds looking around the environment you're in and looking for all things blue. Now, when the 10 seconds are gone, stop immediately and list out all the things that were red. Hard to think of them, right? You see, the reason is your focus and attention was on all of the blue, not the red. The same works with what rituals do for us. Our rituals help us focus on what we are working towards and stay concentrated on that. Trying to change somebody's mind is really hard. Change their body, their mind will go. If you doubt it, give somebody enough alcohol and just see how quickly you can change them. True? Give enough alcohol, I don't care who they are, they're gonna change. What are you changing? Biochemistry, physiology, physical body and the emotion, the mind will shift. That's why people take drugs. That's why people eat. When they go eat, it's a biochemical change in their body. So, but we can do this through movement. We can do this through change. So if you want to be the leader and you're going to be affected, first thing I'd say to all of you going home, so you don't feel overwhelmed, is you need to develop a ongoing discipline because we are our rituals. And I mean a physical one. If you want to say, well, why is my life the way it is today? Look at your rituals. Whether you call them rituals or not, you have them. Most of you get up and you have a set of rituals. You go straight to email or you go straight and work out or you go have your breakfast or you hit the snooze alarm at least three times. It's your ritual. Who knows what I'm talking about here? And if you wanna know what somebody's like, you can see their rituals. 
You can look in anybody's body in this room if you had them take their clothes off and you know some of their rituals or lack thereof. Is it true? If every day you get up and your ritual is you go to Starbucks and order a smoke a book or whatever those things are that you have, right? And a big muffin and whatever it is, right? If that, and that's what you do every day. It's not hard to figure out what you're gonna be like by 10.30 in the morning. You're gonna be looking for your next coffee, your next whatever, because you wanna stimulate your adrenal glands like crazy and they're gonna drop predictably. And we know what your stress level is gonna be like. We know when your energy is gonna go and fade. It's predictable because of your rituals. The next point on how rituals can benefit us is that they give us specific time allocated in our day towards a specific purpose. Time is a critical resource that everyone has a limited amount of and we live in an age where time is constantly eaten up by distractions around us. Therefore, now more than ever, it's important to form positive rituals that ensure we give time to what's important. For example, I noticed a little last year I wasn't caring for my body as I should by not exercising. So, now I've set up a morning ritual which is essentially Tony Robbins' 15 minutes of fulfillment followed by exercise, essentially my 30 minutes to thrive. It's not too strenuous but will ensure that I'm at least caring for the necessities my body needs and it's formed by setting it up as part of my morning ritual. Finally, our rituals set our frame of mind or mindset. Tony Robbins often refers to this as our state. Again, let's take morning routine as an example. If you wake up at a time you set for yourself and go through the process of ensuring you're ready to make the most of the day ahead, you're significantly more likely to achieve and have the day you want than if you are to hit snooze. Actually, hitting snooze works against us, as often we feel bad about waking up late, right? So when you wake up late and feel lousy because you didn't get up when you wanted to, how do you think that impacts the rest of your day? Simply put, it's not going to be great because you've set yourself up with a negative state and unless you can change that, it's going to continue. So in this aspect, positive rituals set us up for a positive day. Now that we've covered the reasons to set up rituals, how do you actually do it? So the first step to setting up a ritual is knowing why you want to implement the ritual in the first place. Take time to identify and understand your why because this will be the driving force for the ritual. For example, me doing exercise in the morning is to care for my body, which I know will physically set me up to have the strength and energy to achieve the tasks I set myself. Okay, so now we know why we want to set up the ritual, but how do we achieve that why? Well, focus on what you need to achieve your goal and in the time frame you set yourself. For example, my goal is to care for my body, in which case I know doing exercises of 15 minutes of fulfillment helps me get my state for the day at its best but then followed by an intense workout for just 15 minutes after will give me the basic start I need to care for my body. It's not the only exercise I get, nor is it a long period of exercise, but it's critical for my health, so it works for my ritual and its purpose. The third point to setting up a ritual is to decide when in your day you're going to actively focus on it. This might also be where you need to compromise because certain rituals, such as our morning or night routines, need to be done at certain times. The time you set aside is for this specific purpose and so you should be solely focused on it during this time, which also benefits your concentration. Finally, start small and work your way up. Don't try to completely overhaul your day-to-day -day routine, but work in small changes regularly. For example, I'm doing 30 minutes every morning of light exercise, but this might increase over time to be more intense as my body adjusts. Now, finally, I want to give a few examples of NBA stars who achieved phenomenal success because of their rituals. Kobe Bryant, for example, is well recognized for his ritual to practice pretty much more than anyone else. He gets in before others and leaves after them, a ritual that's helped him master his craft. Karl Malone was known to have very particular eating habits, which on the face of it appeared to just be fussy, but turned out to be extremely important. For example, He'd want no burnt bits on grilled chicken because those bits will contain carcinogens that would cause cancer. Finally, John Stockton would visit his chiropractor four times a day during his career, considered extreme by many. However, this ritual prolonged his career significantly as he went extra lengths to care for his body, the tool he used in his craft. Simply put, rituals have incredible benefits, including they form positive habits, they allow focus, give dedicated time to your purpose and shape your state or mindset.
To reiterate, rituals can be set up by identifying the purpose, understand how to achieve the purpose, dedicating time to the ritual, starting small and working up. So set up your rituals and start achieving your own incredible success. And the biggest ritual that we have besides physical, and by the way, let me just say to you this, this, when you go home, if you want to transform your business, transform you by creating first, if you don't already have one, a set of physical rituals that you're not going to miss. I don't care if it's three days a week, four days a week, something that's going to make you physically strong because in a place where there's going to be a lot of fear, the way you deal with crisis is number one thing you should do is feed your mind. And you're doing that. Get yourself new answers. Immerse yourself in new environments. Get new voices. Have new perspectives. Ask some new questions. Isn't that what we've been doing here? Right? And we're doing it together and bringing all these people together. I basically, to create innovation in your life and marketing, I've assembled here 19 people. You assemble five days of your life and we're just rocking day and night. It's the total immersion of what I taught you in innovation. It's really what it is, but this has got to continue. For it to continue though, we've also been managing your state to a great extent, right? Most of you don't go home and four or five days a day start clapping like crazy and screaming and shaking. You don't do that, you say, right? And so some of you are going to go like, wow, it doesn't feel the same as at the seminar and stuff. <laughs> You know, I'm back here by myself and my people aren't doing this. But some of you will go home and initiate this. You're going to have your physiology five, your five minutes of physiology shift once an hour, once every 90 minutes or no more than once every two hours. You're going to start your morning with everybody. You're going to bring in and get some little audio clip of something from a movie or something that blasts across you know, the room and everybody stand at attention. You're going to do some crazy stuff if you're smart. Go over Zappos and see what they do. They got the most crazy stuff going on there. All the stuff that I do in seminars, they do every day at their location with their people. And people can't wait to get to work and they're in a certain state. Thanks for watching today. So I want to know what ritual you will be looking to set up next. Let me know in the comments section below. In addition, if you enjoyed today's content, please share, like and subscribe for more content like this.